It's a week in high school football unlike any we have seen in the area. Two games involving four undefeated teams playing against each other to end the regular season. And this just showcase, you know, the talent that we have in this region. And I hope every college coach is watching, <laughs> right? I hope, I hope they have an opportunity to see what we can do. Anytime we get a chance to display that and really put our kids, you know, out there for marketing for these colleges and other areas, I mean, it's always a great opportunity to be a part of that. I mean, you got a game on Thursday night and a game on Friday. If you don't get your tickets by Wednesday, you're probably not getting in. I mean, these are going to be packed houses. You know, it's happening this division or that division, but to happen across the board the way it's happened, uh, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty exciting. Thursday night, the battle of the East End rivalry will resume with high stakes as top-ranked Holland Springs, who currently has a 30-game regular season winning streak in true road games. They know what's at stake. Uh, you know, you're talking about bragging rights. You're talking about the opportunity to represent, you know, as an undefeated team going into the playoffs. Travels to number two, Verina, who has won 15 straight overall, dating back to the end of last season. We started to see who we can go to and who we can rely on. Like I tell the kids, it's about being consistent every game, every week. And, you know, once we get that, we know who we could depend on. South of the river on Friday night, third-ranked Thomas Dale, 9-0 for the first time since 2002, will look to complete their first undefeated regular season since that 0-2 team. I think our kids are, um, are pumped up for it. But, again, at the end of the day, we're going to go 1-0 and, and try to beat Dinwiddie and, like I said, bring that Central District Championship back home to Thomas Dale where it belongs travels to fourth-ranked Dinwiddie, whose 17-game regular season winning streak is the longest active in the Richmond region. It's always a big deal to, to do something like that. I mean, but uh, uh, that's obviously not our goal. Uh, you know, we, uh, you know we, we, we've done that before. To put in perspective how rare this week is for high school football in our area, we believe this marks the first time the top four teams in our coaches poll, who are all undefeated, will meet on the field in the same week. Reporting for the Games of the Week, I'm Sean Robertson, CBS 6 Sports.